Hi everyone, this is the Healing Soul Tarot. My name is Crystal. Welcome back for another reading. I really appreciate you guys. Um, as I said last night, <clears throat> at 110 subscribers, I couldn't be more thrilled. And I just thank you everyone for supporting this brand new channel. So if you're already a subscriber, thank you from the bottom of your heart uh, for believing in me. And if you're new, welcome. So tonight I thought what I would do is focus this reading on the person that might be on your mind and what are their thoughts and feelings for you. Um, I want this one to be kind of more detailed, very specific, and so I've got a few other tools with me. We're going to do um, some pendulum work, and we're also going to get a little bit more information about the person's nature using uh, the wild unknown animal spirit, okay? So first thing we need to do is clear the energy. I hope everybody's having a really good weekend. You're all healthy, keeping strong. And you know, we're all in this together, in this life, in this world, okay? So you're never alone. Okay, so ancestors, spirit guides, angels, higher beings, please come forward and tell us about the person that the collective is thinking about, the person on their mind, what are their thoughts and feelings for the collective? What are their thoughts and feelings? The person on your mind, what is their thoughts and feelings for you? What are their thoughts and feelings for you? This could be someone from the past, from the future. Maybe you haven't met them yet. We don't know. We'll see. But just remember, only take what resonates. Not every reading is going to be for everyone. Um, I can only tap into the loudest energy. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Tune in, you know, next time and maybe that... Resonate will pick up on your energy as well, but right now this is the loudest energy that I'm able to tap into, okay? Maybe all of the message will resonate, maybe only a small part, but, you know, use your discretion, okay? So the person that is on your mind, what are their thoughts and feelings for you? So we have victim, reversed. Um, those are too many. They just dropped out. I don't really do that. I, it, the, the deal is I pull the card, <laughs> unless it's just one card. If a bunch drop out, that's usually because I'm just being clumsy. We have Vampire reversed. Child Eternal reversed. Samaritan reversed. If these all come out reversed, I'm just going to turn them upside down and we'll look at both of the light and shadow attributes of that person, okay? Father. I think I'm just going to turn them up right because it uh, doesn't really matter. These cards are the archetype cards. So they always give um, light attributes and shadow attributes. It doesn't really matter if you do them in the reverse in these types of readings. So when we're trying to just dig into someone's um, thoughts and feelings, okay? Because both could be applicable, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to use tarot to um, get more uh, information, and the tarot will tell us whether the card is of light or shadow, okay? 
mystic, okay? All right. So this individual, the victim card, the light attribute, prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. Shadow attributes, playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity, inability to maintain personal boundaries. So this person that's on your mind, they see you as someone who's very strong, but you may have also um, been taken advantage of at some point, or maybe they took advantage of you, okay? You know, we're not really sure there. But, you know, maybe now you're in the position where they see that you will no longer allow that to happen. You will no longer allow yourself to be victimized. Okay? You have built personal boundaries. Maybe they don't know that you have those boundaries right now. Okay? Let's just keep moving. Like I said, we're going to get more definition, but because I want to get the... Uh, the pendulum aspect of this in the reading, I don't want to linger too long. Um, so the vampire card, light attribute, makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So they, yeah, they understand that at some point you were taken advantage of either by others around you or they themselves took advantage of you. Shadow attributes, depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining and codependency. You know, this person may have these characteristics. You know, maybe that's why, you know, there, there's a sense of taking advantage, uh, you were taken advantage of, um, because they needed your energy in order to survive. So somebody definitely, um, yeah, there are th people who are psychic vampires out there. Um, they're very predatory. You know, sometimes they may not even know that they're doing it, but yeah, they're here to drain your life force for their own survival, their own needs, okay? They need it to make themselves feel good, to, to bolster their their position in life or, or their self-esteem or whatever it is. They drain your energy, okay? So they know that they they did this. They, they came in and possibly took advantage of you, okay? Child eternal, light attributes, determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes. The shadow attributes, inability to grow up and be responsible, extreme dependency on others for physical security. So this person, I mean, they... they they see you as a very youthful spirit, someone who's open, carefree, you're able to see things with fresh eyes, you know, maybe they're hoping that you're forgiving, okay? But they went through this period, you know, possibly of not being able to, to grow up. Maybe they were slightly irresponsible and therefore had to depend on others. And that ties into the vampire card where yeah, they were draining your energy. They were dependent, way too dependent on you. There was no equal give and take, okay? Possibly. This is the first layer of this message, okay? Samaritan. The light attribute. Refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Shadow attribute. Exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. So, yeah, they, like I said, they know that you're a good person and they're hoping that you will forgive them. Um, they, they, maybe you're not in contact with this person, but they're hoping you will be open to them, even though you would prefer to continue ignoring this situation. Okay, maybe some of you are just kind of, you know, ignoring it. I, I'm not sure. We'll get, we'll dig deeper. Okay, um, the shadow attribute. 
yeah, they like there's a sense that maybe you know this person could expect or did expect something back all the time whenever they helped someone um and and just they want to feel appreciated for that help or maybe they felt like they didn't appreciate you okay but they do know that there's this you're you're very you know you're a good person you're a kind person and they're hoping that you know you will be forgiving we have the father card light attributes talent for creating and supporting life positive guiding light within a tribal unit shadow attributes dictator dictatorial con dictatorial control abuse of authority so yeah this person i mean they they see you as very creative um they see you as the head of your family okay um you know some of you could be parents and they see that you take that role very very seriously um you know i i don't know if they there's a slight intimidation there as well they're a little worried but that you are very strong okay we have the mystic card light attribute revels in intimate union with the divine the shadow attribute, delusional rapport with the divine. So this, I think they're kind of torn, you know, especially if you're someone who is very spiritual, they see that you really enjoy that, um, that you are very deeply spiritual, but there may also be, you know, of a different background where they're slightly skeptical slightly pessimistic maybe they don't believe what you believe maybe they think you're a little over the top i don't know but let's just get some more information okay so tell me more about this victim card what is this victim card about What is this victim card about? So we have Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. So, they feel what they're thinking anyway. What they're what they're thinking is that yes, you know, you were at you no longer um, leave yourself open to be victimized. Okay, they see that you've become stronger. Okay, you, with the four of pentacles, that's a very guarded energy. I hope you guys can see that without the glare. Um, you know, you've worked hard for what you have, but you're, you're um, just keeping your cards close to your heart and staying very guarded because yes, you have set up these very strong boundaries. You know, with the page of cups, You know, there was, you were expecting happy news or something. You had a child maybe was involved, but, or you do have a child and you're just keeping yourself closed off, maybe a little isolated. Okay. The five of pentacles is about being sort of left out in the cold. Maybe they feel like they're out on the outside looking in, um, or you're just sort of keeping to yourself. You know, because you do have this this child that, you know, you're very guarded. You know, like I said, you could be a parent. Um, and they recognize that. Um, 
they could see you as as also kind of childlike and that maybe you were sort of maybe they this person ghosted you or something left you out in the cold and now um you're going to be very guarded against them okay and that's something that they could be thinking about yeah because if they were just using you for your energy to make themselves feel better lift themselves up you know that makes sense like yeah they you know they in their mind they're thinking you know why would this person ever allow me back in when i you know did this to them you know i drained them of their energy i took their energy to make myself feel better okay so they're concerned about that they think about that what is this vampire card about we have the two of pentacles The Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're really, like, they're concerned, right? They know that they, you know, used you for your energy, drained you of your energy. And they want to make the situation better, find this balance. But they're really worried that you're not in a place to forgive them right now. Um, and, but they're, they're, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to study and figure out what they can do to bring balance to this situation. You know, with, with the eight of pentacles, that's about learning their craft. Um, or maybe they, maybe they see that you're just focused on learning your craft or doing something different, studying, maybe they're studying you. I'm not sure, but either way, um, they're concerned that they're not going to be able to, to balance things out. Yeah, like they're they're feeling fearful. Okay? Definitely feeling fearful. Maybe they think that you may withdraw from them and just focus on your eight of pentacles, you know, working on your craft or something like that. Um, but uh yeah, I think they're kind of concerned about what your reaction would be if they came forward. And they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. What is this child eternal card about? We've got the nine of cups. We've got the King of Cups. And the Five of Cups. So, yeah, like they're feeling kind of bummed out right now. You know, they see you as being someone who's very determined. You're just sort of moving forward in life. You're going after your Nine of Cups, which are the wishes. Um, and they're feeling like maybe they're just not on your level because the five of cups is a recognition of, you know, I always say it's like crying over spilled milk. They, they're, they're, they're now realizing what they've lost, you know, and they're in a situation right now where they're not too happy with their present, um, because they see that you have still maintained the ability to see things with fresh eyes. You know, and and they're kind of feeling like maybe they missed out on something or, you know, that's such a good quality that you have. Okay? They see you as the king of cups. You know, as somebody being really warm and thoughtful and kind, maybe, you know, again, they, you're a very creative person. And maybe this is their energy too. But I think it's more about how they see you. Okay? And they're in this stage of, you know, they've missed out. They just were childish themselves and they weren't able, they, they, 
they haven't grown up and they weren't mature enough at the time and now they're realizing kind of what they lost out on. Okay, so they spend a lot of time thinking about that. How they messed up, I guess, is what they're thinking about. What is this Samaritan card about? This person has feelings for you, but they know that they messed up. And uh, they can't just come waltzing in. They know they can't just come waltzing in and, and be like, Hi, how you doing? They're very concerned that... Um, you may not have the ability to even allow them to speak to you because you're so very guarded because of what they've done, okay? We can get more information about that, okay? So with the Samaritan, we have the Three of Pentacles. Judgment. And the star yeah see they're not sure if they should even come forward right now because you're very focused on your three of pentacles you know your wishes and dreams with the star your manifestation you're trying to work really hard and with the judgment card this is you know reward for your past efforts so they see you focusing on that and they're not sure right now if you're going to come if they come in right now if you're going to maybe just ignore them, they, you know, because these are the things that you're so focused on. You know, your three of pentacles is your legacy, building up your home, your stability, um, your abundance. But again, you're focused right now on just hard work. And, you know, things will, they either are going to work out for you because of your past efforts, or they, you know, um, they're already in the process of, of working out and they just feel like maybe you don't have, you, you, you're too focused on this and we'll just ignore them if they come forward. You know, because this has been um, a long period of no contact. A very long period. Uh, the Father card. What is this about? We've got the Queen of Swords. The Page of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, you're the Queen of Wands energy, you know, and already at the beginning I said they could see that you're a parent, you know, you're focused on your family, your children, you're this very strong, independent person, just sort of focused on, on your life, your abundance, working on your career, taking care of your family. Okay, you're this very father, you're this, you know, either a father figure or a mother figure. Okay. Um, and they're not on, like I said, they're not on your level just yet. This person, you know, it took a long time to mature, to grow up. And they recognize that now. Um, but you're just at this completely different level than they are. And you have different they realize and recognize that you have different um, priorities than they do, okay? So they're just afraid that you're so focused on those priorities that if they did come forward, you might just brush them off, okay? That there may not be any space for them because of their treatment of you in the past.
Yeah. Okay. What is this mystic card about? So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Five of Swords. And Temperance. So they see that, yeah, you are focused on your spirituality, your connection with the divine. Maybe you're, you know, working on a business using those per those gifts. You know, maybe um, you're a creative person moving forward in that avenue. But this Five of Swords energy, you know, they, they're they not sure about um, the spiritual side of things. You know, they may have not a lot of patience for it, or maybe they're conflicted about their own connection with the divine, okay? Um, and they just don't know how to take that. Maybe they're working on their connection with the divine, and they're just, like I said, not at the same level. And they could be doing it for the wrong reasons as well. But the temperance card is always about patience. Things will happen in divine timing. All right. Now, maybe this person's, I, I don't know if this person is, is as spiritual as you are. Like I said, they could be, uh, they could hold different beliefs. All right. But maybe they're willing to be patient. But I think that you know, part of them, they may think that, you know, your spirituality, there's a hidden agenda to it or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, or that you may see them as someone coming in with a hidden agenda. And it's only going to take some time for things to sort out. Okay. Um, I just want to, let's get a a little bit more clarity. What was the situation with the vampire card and this person draining the energy of the collective? What did they do? What did this person do to drain energy? They were emotionally guarded. They were not accessible um, to you at all. They kind of blocked you out. We've got the poppet. Um, you know, in some ways it's about protection because poppets were used as a distraction for the devil. They were made to keep the devil busy. So maybe this person had their wall up and they were just kind of focused on their vices. Maybe they had a lot of vices and that's how they went, but it felt like almost a curse. Their inability, to, yeah, their inability to open up emotionally is like a curse to them, okay? And that's how they drained you. Yeah, they weren't telling you their real feelings. They were very closed off and that drained you because you are this very spiritual, emotionally open person you know, they weren't able to, to, like I said, on the same level and be able to um, connect with you in that way. They were very guarded. Um, let's get a couple more. Why were they? Yeah. They were really focused on their abundance and climbing the social ladder. And they felt like, you know, they had the way to get there. The way to get there was kind of paved for them. But they were very focused. And this is why they were closed off from you. 
you know, maybe they used you for social status and your abundance, but I think this, it, it's more about what they were focused on and why they were closed off. They might have been, um, maybe, I don't know, I don't mean to sound classist, but, you know, if you were of lower income, this person might have been more financially stable and, you know, maybe felt like you weren't on their level, but now they're realizing they were never anything close to you. Okay? They're starting to figure that out. And like I said, we had the, uh, where did it go? Yeah, the Five of Cups here. And it's right here, directionally. All of this is beside the Five of Cups. So now they're realizing what they, they lost out on. They were more concerned with um, their abundance, their status, climbing the social ladder, um, than they were kind of with you. All right. Um, let me see. What else do I want to find out here? Let's look at this Five of Swords. Like, why are they kind of fighting against your beliefs? And if you are a spiritual person, what is this Five of Swords? What are their concerns? What are they worried about with this Five of Swords? Um, it's not you they're worried about. You know, they see you as, you know, even if they don't agree, they see that it makes you very happy and it's helping you heal and clear out negative energy. And it's your way, your path. And they, I guess, yeah, at first it was, it bothered them, but over time with the temperance card, they've come to see that, yeah, you're, this is what you were, you know, you're happy um, and you found your own way. And you don't have a hidden agenda. You're not doing it with a hidden agenda. Maybe at first they thought that, but now that they, they see you moving forward, they realize that you're quite genuine. And it's below your wishes and dreams. Like you're not doing this to take advantage of anyone. If you are um, engaging in a new venture that uses your spiritual gifts. And I do find most people, you know, I'm not just talking about myself here, but most people who look for online readings, they are people who do have some form of spiritual gift. Okay. They just do. You could be a light worker, an empath, a counselor, psychologist. I put doctor, they're all of those people. I put them in the category of light worker because you're, you're here to help people. To me, it's all the same. So they see that you're actually really genuine in your desire to help people in whatever field that is. Okay. So that's what the person thinks of you. Let's pull out the pendulum and I have this card it's got letters of the alphabet on it and we're going to get some initials okay so let's see and I'll ask for like three different initials just to see if we can pull up more individuals so what's the initial of the first person for the collective So I have an N or an M is the initial of their first name. What else do we have? Move it down a little bit. What's another initial, please? We've got a J. We need more initials, please. Two more. We've got an R. and a T. Okay, so those are the initials of the person that's on your mind. Let's get their sign. Okay. What is the sign of this person who is on the mind of the collective? So they could be a Scorpio, a Taurus. What else do we have? 
What else do we have? They could be a Virgo, a Pisces. And what else do we have? And a Leo and an Aquarius. Okay. Now, when are they going to come forward, if at all? So let's just check. Okay. What month is this person going to come forward, if at all? So we've got possible June, which would be June of next year or December of this year. When might this person come forward? They may be coming forward this month in August or in February. Okay, so we had June, December, August, and February. What day of these months? Give us a few dates, please. What dates do we have? Could be the 4th. What possible dates, please? Could also be four days, four weeks, four months. Could be the six. Six days, six weeks, or six months. Sorry, you guys. Um, I had to edit there because I forgot that I had said I would pull... Um, a card from the wild unknown animal spirit and we're just going to get some um, idea of uh, this individual's qualities as a person who are who is this person what are their qualities as a person this individual that's on everyone's mind what are their qualities as a person So we have Vulture. Okay, so <laughs> it's interesting because we talked about how, you know, in this in this relationship at some point this person was draining you of your energy. Maybe that's how they operate it with people. Um, they use people for their energy. So they may sort of felt that they were a Vulture. But Vultures are also very... Um, resourceful, right? So let's just see. Let me see. This is an air sign. So take that as it resonates. Where is the vulture? Here it is. Okay. So we got guardian and purifier, essential for rebalance. And that's interesting because we just talk about how this person wants to come in and create balance, make the situation right. So the vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or tragedy is a blessing in disguise. So this person, yeah, they're starting to realize that all of their thoughts and feelings that they're having right now, even though some of it's hard to take in, you know, it's hard to accept that maybe this is who you were, you know, this kind of vampire this person that used others, that there was, you were, de they were dependent on others, um, draining people of their life force. They're now starting to see, or have brought that into balance. So th this person has improved, okay? And maybe they want, and they want you to see that. They want you to see that they've learned from their lessons, okay? And they've grown from it. All right. So this is kind of who they are right now in the present. 
they recognize their mistakes of the past and they do realize that um, to have any connection with you, they would have to bring things into balance and kind of make amends for, you know, their past transgressions. All right. So thank you everyone for joining me. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. And as always, I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.